guys, what's up? Today we're going to take a look at the Snapdragon S2 ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 GDI 9100. I'll be sharing with you guys my thoughts, uh, my insights, of course, as this is going to be a review of the Snapdragon S2 ROM. So stay tuned for that. Hey guys, we got here the Snapdragon S2 ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 GDI 9100. As you can see, it's got these ripple effects similar to what you get on the S4 and of course we've got the lock screen and background wallpapers again similar to the S4 with the same font so let's just unlock this and as you can see we've got the same user experience as again on the S4 so this is very very similar to the previous ROM which I reviewed which is the ROM S4 so there isn't much uh, there isn't much anything going on on this ROM except that uh, some icons have been replaced such as the camera icon, the internet icon, uh, slightly, a slightly different user interface for the contacts. We've got again different icons but the same apps as we got on the Galaxy S2 as this, if I'm not mistaken, is based on the latest XW, let me see where can I find it. I believe this is based on one of the latest versions of the Samsung Galaxy S2 firmware. And of course, this is running on the Sia Doriman X um, kernel. So this is running 4.1.2. So this is a pretty stable release. And if you're going to ask about battery life, basically it's the same as what you get on the official Samsung Galaxy S2 firmware. So apart from that, we've got the, the S apps here. We've got S Health, S Planner, S Translator, and S Voice. And we've got additional two um, audio enhancement apps called Viper for Android FX and of course uh, X Hi-Fi of the Viper for Android. So these, these apps will definitely improve um, the audio on your device, whether it's on your phone, headset or Bluetooth headset. So that's pretty cool. And apart from that, we got we got this interesting app called the Battery Guru. So actually this is supposed to be for the Samsung Galaxy S4 as it's based on the Snapdragon uh, chipset. However, they managed to port the app and it's some sort of like battery power management saver app. So what it does is um, it sees your usage and it um, calculates or finds a way to distribute the power effect efficiently and effectively towards uh, those apps so that you'll be able to reduce or improve your battery life in the long run. So that's, you can actually find an app like this on the Google Play Store so by searching for power saver, battery power saver, something like that. So basically it's the same as a Galaxy S2 firmware with just uh, different wallpapers and an added app here and there. So. Yeah, those are the Galaxy S4 wallpapers. It's not, it's not it's nothing really special, but if you just want to get the Galaxy S4 user experience on your Galaxy S2, might as well try this. So don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Wired Mash as it definitely helps us a lot. Don't forget to visit wiredmash.com. And most of all, thanks for watching.